Hi, it's Fiskon here. I got asked how to make icons for TS3, so I made a video. I was asked not to use any paid for programs like Photoshop and nothing complicated. I ended up deciding to go with MS Paint. What I will show you is extremely simple, nothing complicated at all. But with the ease of use, you might lose some neat things you could do with Photoshop or GIMP. Moving on, programs you'll need are TeamSpeak 3 and MS Paint. And you also need an image. Things you want to know. I categorize icons in two ways. You have channel icons and client icons. They're the exact same thing. And they're uploaded in the same way, but they're applied a little differently. I'll also show you how to apply an icon to a user group with both the advanced permission system and the simple permission system. I'm going to find an image. I think Twitch will be good for today. And when you look for an image, there are a few things you want to consider. How much area is the actual image taking up? And then uh, how much or how much white space there is? And is it too tall or is it too wide? For example, right here, this image has a lot of white space all around it. When I say this image, I mean this is what we want. We don't want this transparency on the outside because when we shrink it, it'll be a lot smaller than it looks. <clears throat> and then you have this image which is a lot longer than it is taller. And since the biggest we can make our image is a 16 by 16 box, you want to look for something that's more of a square. And again, this one has a lot of white space on the sides. So we can use it, it just won't, it'll look a lot smaller than we can make it. So this one right here is actually a really good one. It, it takes up most of the space. It's in a square. It's not even, it's not that bad at all. We'll use this one. I'm going to click View Image. Right click, save image as. And I'm going to go to my desktop, and a little images folder, icons, and TeamSpeak. Go ahead and save it there. Close out of Google or Google Chrome. I'm going to open up Paint. Next thing I'm going to do is go File, Open, and go Up One, Icons, TeamSpeak, Twitch Logo. And this is where it gets really simple. All you do is click resize. You don't want to change the pixels. You don't have to. You can do it by percentage, but pixels you can guarantee it's 16 by 16. You want to find the biggest number, and that's going to be horizontal in this case. You're going to make it 16, and you got to make sure the maintain aspect ratio is checked. If it's not, it, it'll look like this. See how it got? It just shrunk on one side, not not all around. And the reason you choose the biggest one is because it'll it'll change the aspect ratio for the other one. I'll file, save as, and then you want to try and find the ping. The reason you want to choose .png over JPEG is because that also keeps transparencies. There may be other reasons, but I choose that one all the time because if your image is transparent at all, JPEG doesn't save that. You know, close out. Next thing you're going to do is go to settings, or my bad, permissions, server groups. You want to find a server group you want to add it to. I don't necessarily have a Twitch server group. I'm just going to put on lockdown. So this is under the simple permission server group right here. Simple permissions. You're going to edit icon in the top right corner and then you're going to click upload. From here you're going to find the folder you saved it in. In my case, desktop, images, icons, TeamSpeak. And then the smaller Twitch logo, open. And it's uploaded right there. And you see it's right there. Go ahead and hit apply. And in my case, I'm going to hit keep. That's because I did something something else. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to myself. Server group assigned. As you can see, it's got the Twitch logo now. Go ahead and take that off. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do the advanced version of applying the icon. So we're going to go to Settings, Options, under Application, we're going to click Advanced Permission Systems and Apply. And we're going to go Permissions, Server Groups, we're going to lock down again, and we're going to go Group, and then we're going to go Icon ID, double click, and it'll bring up our menu, and we just select our icon, double click, and it's been applied. And then you just right click and then set server group lockdown and it'll show Twitch just like before. Now in order to remove this, you just right click and remove permission. And then it's gone. 
And I'm going to show you how to apply that Twitch icon to a channel. So here's Twitch channels down here, and it's been applied to Garkinus Live. I'm going to click Edit Channel. Now if this was not here, which we'll pretend it wasn't, and you go in the top right corner and you click Set Channel Icon, and you hit Edit Icon, and it bring up the exact same menu. And you just double click, and then apply. And OK. And there you go. Now this channel has a Twitch icon that you created. Fantastic. That's all. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. There's probably a few things I said wrong in the video, but for the most part, you'll know how to make an icon.